Hello, my name is Nathan Beckert, and as for today, um, yesterday, I mean, I've got a, a DVD, Sonic Boom, and also Adventures of the Sonic the Hedgehog, a two-disc set. Uh, Sonic Boom, well, it's only one disc, uh, but, um, it was my first time watching last night, and I'm gonna review the episodes I've watched, um, episodes I didn't, probably later towards a different video or whatever. We got, um, the first one is, uh, the sidekick. And what that one is about is with Sonic, he's like running off fast throughout a canyon and Eggman is chasing him. Miles Per Hour helps him and he's uh, driving his airplane and also, uh, Dr. Robotnik uh, has an upper hand and uh, blows up Tails' uh, plane, goes down, and Sonic uh, 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 recovers Tails, and uh, he's in bandages and such, and he says, he's no longer my sidekick. The reason why is because uh, he just doesn't want anything to happen to the little guy, you know? So, uh, he just tries to find a new sidekick. <laughs> it's funny, like, eh, I don't know, it's, it's hilarious. Yeah, la uh, later on towards the episode when it just goes drastic, he, he tells them the honest truth why and everything. I was just trying to protect you. <laughs> like, <laughs> Eggman wanted to be Sonic's sidekick just by tricking him. <laughs> like, God. <laughs> What a freaking mess. And like, oh shucks. I think they destroyed him afterwards. Uh, I, if I watch it one time, I, I just have to remember. Uh, cause uh, if I just watch it once, then I don't, I, I don't know details, but if I watch it more than one time, of course. <laughs> Alright, Cowbot. <laughs> it's like, Dr. Robotnik, uh, was reviewing, uh, each and everybody uh to his cowbot and everything back of when they were playing that uh coconut game or whatever how many coconuts would fall off the tree after I throw my buddy here on the tree anyways though uh long story short um they reprogram it and it goes chasing Dr. Robotnik like I was like saying why would they just go back to Dr. Robotnik and just warn him. But it, it's a cartoon and it's funny, so what the hell. He's sort of like a friend, villain, I don't fucking know. But anyway, <laughs> Tails and uh, Sonic, they look at the shop and Sonic uh, makes like a sandwich for Mr. Dr. Robotnik and also they're eating uh, cookies and drinking milk. And just watching TV because how long it's taking for the cow bot. <laughs> it, it's pretty funny. Like, the script is insanely uh, funny. Like, shucks. Sonic Boom, I get. Like, the video game, like, didn't make a lot of sense. And it didn't. It was broken like Sonic 06. But what they got right was the series. And I, I don't even uh, know if, uh,. Uh, I don't know if, uh, they still have ep more episodes, but, yeah. Anyways, though, uh, they end up destroying it, and Dr. Robotnik turns on them, and then Sonic, uh, glues up all his spots, and they just blow up or something. Alright, so now, uh, Double Doomsday. Oh, yeah, I'm trying to remember. There's, like, some kind of huge fan of Eggman and he like mops up the floor and uh cleans up after the Eggman including his bathroom stuff he's sort of like a janitor because Eggman just hires him but only for his own free will no money involved because he's a huge fan <laughs> and then later he just uh goes against Eggman because he wants to uh, get the upper hand because he thinks of himself more evil. <laughs> That's the real lowest. Alright. Uh The Curse of Buddy Buddy Temple. <laughs> that was that was funny. Eggman's chasing Sonic. 
and uh, Sonic uh, appears going into a temple, then chasing Eggman, and then they fall in the pit. And anyway, they have to work together in order to get out of the temple. But it's just much more hard for the two of them, and Eggman always just wants to go against Sonic, including him getting him crushed in the process. But at least he got out because of this one little area Eggman was just trying to come across to get out. But my god, it's just funny in a way. <laughs> yeah, I just laughed my butt off. Anyway, uh, I didn't uh, look at uh, the sleeping giant lost. I mean, <laughs> just a guy or my favorite sticky. Um, but the only one I watched uh, on here uh, is the media, and that was like the last one last night because it was very late, and I was still editing videos. By the way, I, I finished the episode. It's probably uploaded on YouTube now. Of Adventures of the Space Excuse me. Alright. So, um, the Meteor. <laughs> Meteor is funny. It's really, really, really uh, hilarious. Because Sonic calls Debs on the Meteor. Eggman calls Debs. And what happens is, whoever, like, touches it first... Uh, they say so about it or whatever, right? But the two of them touch, and then the next day, however, they wake up. They're in, they're, they're in different bodies. Sonic is in Eggman's, and uh, Dr. Robotnik is in Sonic's, and it's just very hilarious, including, like, how they argue and such. Like, wow, wow. That is really good writing. But, yeah. Uh, all I can say, uh, for, um, Adventures of the, uh, fuck, Adventures of the Space Husky, yeah, I'm still working on it, um, Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog is, uh, sort of like a good cartoon, it's kind of odd to see, what was his name, that robot, whatever, he was trying to, uh, uh, be better in Sonic, and he like turned his hand from um, a screw to a pumpkin. Like literally, how you do that? Including into a lady figure. I I, I just don't understand. But anyway, it's funny. Yeah. Anyway, uh, how the episode starts is Sonic and Tails like gets captured by a uh, chicken robo and a screw grounder and. Grounder Spike? Okay, but who's Grounder? Grounder is the screw guy, right? And Spike is the chicken? You guys gotta comment down below because I don't really pay attention that much. And I watch all the episodes. Jesus Christ. Anyway, though, Sonic tells his story towards Spike and uh, Grounder of long ago, how Sonic became the Aunt's nemesis. Anyway, they become them. Uh, <laughs> Sonic uh, and Tails is Aunt's nemesis or whatever. But both um, Spike and Grounder, they they just just like uh, Sonic and just trying to overrule with Robotnik or whatever or Egghead or Egg White or whatever you can call it. Him or Fatty McFat. <laughs> Anyways, though, uh, uh Eggman. Dr. Robotic, uh, he, uh, grounded up all the robos and, uh, I forgot what that place is called. They, uh, he grounded all up, uh, all the robots and told, uh, this 16-year-old, uh, caused a lot of trouble with him and his name is Sonic and I want you to go after him and Sonic just appears at the area while uh, Robotnik is giving the speech and it doesn't work with all the robots and then that's when Dr. Robotnik or Dr. Robotski or Egghead uh, created Scrap and Grounder or whatever <laughs> I think that's about it yeah that's the whole episode and then after it Sonic says I forgot what episode Sonic of this Sonic says this, I guess, uh, we view it, but basically, 
um most of it is cheesy but they do give good advice anyways though uh peace and be anyway that uh was a uh, auto recording that i finished on audacity so now i'm literally watching a little craft to her moves uh from platform also to the other platform so with this being my uh second uh playthrough of the original tomb raider this was an old video of mine uh from the other account that I've lost so I found this video on the hard drive and also uh, I'm doing a voiceover because uh, uh, the last audio was uh, me doing a voiceover while I was playing this but it didn't do so great including back then my recording skills wasn't a complete success uh, anyways though, if you want to see more, then uh, hit that like button, comment below, and yeah, for the rest of you folks, uh, tell me, uh, 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 what favorite animated series you like, and also, question for the day, what is your favorite, uh, Sonic the Hedgehog cartoon? that you probably watch on Saturdays, Mondays, or when you were a kid. And did I just die or what? Yeah, Lady Croft just died. Well, this was an old playthrough anyway. I'm uh, probably gonna resume anyway. I saved right there, that's insane. Yeah, this was the PC, so you could save any way you want. Patience is a virtue, lower class. If you go a little more closer, you'd be sliced. I think in half, yeah. It, it would be in half, huh? Shucks. Forgot to jab backwards, trying to act like a pro. But anyways, uh... This is a, like, a long playthrough. But, yeah, we're getting towards the part of, uh, the end of this video. She just has to pull the switch and shoot the key into the door and that would be it of a playthrough of the original game of Tomb Raider sorry that I uh, can't access this game uh, even if I do have that capture device uh, I would but that capture device uh, is, a, is not really in good use because I need to get a new one and uh, also uh, I have a new Steam account, so I don't have this game on my Steam account. I'm too many anniversary, and yeah. But yeah, also uh, for a uh, question for the day, tell me what your favorite Tomb Raider game is. Alright, peace. And I died again. Rippy. Isn't that awesome or what? Just seeing Lil' Clop die like that, it's just... Don't you tell me that I start <laughs> Ah, that's that is awesome right there. Wow, that's that's what you guys get from not saving like me. Like, <laughs> you have to just come back at uh, the odd spots <laughs> when you like died. You know? Oh my god. Yeah. Peace.